This is Pastor Richard, and you're watching Anchored in Christ, a vlog from St. Paul's Lutheran Church to know what we believe and why we believe it to be anchored in Christ's word for us. Now, this week we're going to take a little bit of a break from our typical study of the scriptures for the upcoming Sunday school lesson and jump into the ditch, follow a rabbit trail on an excursus with a question that I have encountered over the years, and that question is this, Pastor, how do we do family devotions at home? Now, just a bit of a disclaimer as we think about this subject, and that disclaimer is this, as a pastor, not only as a pastor, but a Especially as a husband and father, this is an area that I have failed at more than I have succeeded. But nonetheless, it is an important subject, not only for you, but for myself, for all of us to consider not only the necessity, but especially the gift of family devotions in our context of our houses and apartments and so forth. So where do we go from here? Well, if you look in the marketplace of goods and books and resources, you're going to find a plethora, a ton, an abundance of resources, all making claims to help you with those family devotions at home. In fact, I've tried many of them and failed indeed at quite a few of them. But there's something I'd like to share with you that's very, very, very simple and is closer to you than you might actually realize. And that is this resource. You guys ready for it? It's simply this. It's our Lutheran service book. Yes, our Lutheran service book. Now, it may seem kind of awkward or weird to think about using a Lutheran service book at home for devotions, uh, but here's the thing. The Lutheran service book is indeed intended for our services on Sunday, but there's a whole section in the very beginning of our hymnal that intends this hymnal to be used as a part of our piety throughout all 365 days of the year. And so not only is it to be used on Sundays, but can be used throughout the week. Now, this is actually a more personalized uh, edition of the hymnal. So as we already know, there's all sorts of hymns that we sing. They're basically poetry set to music, but there's also this big section in the front that contains not only our Sunday corporate services, but also has a section of services uh, for the family. I'm going to hold this up if you can see it. It says daily prayer for individuals and families. So I'm going to pull that up for us to look a little more closely at here on the second sh on the second screen here. And as you can see, these are brief services that are intended um, as a simple form of daily prayer uh, for individuals and families. Let's look more specifically at the morning one. So they have one for the morning, one for noon, one for early evening, and one for the closing of the day. This one for the morning here. As you can see, the sign of the cross is made by all in remembrance of the baptism. And the leader, which perhaps would be that father, he would say in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and the rest of the family would respond, Amen. And then you go forth from this point where the father would recite his part and the family would respond. And then as you look into this, then after that opening, uh, there would be an opening hymn or canticle or psalm that could be sung. Uh, and that's really what, quite awesome. We have all these hymns that could be sung. You also have the psalms in the very beginning that can be spoken and also sung as well. And then after that, you have an appointed reading. Now, I want to show something to you as well, just in case, if you don't want to do one of the appointed readings there. Uh, in the hymnal, if you turn a couple pages back, there's a section here that says the daily lectionary. If you can see right here, the daily lectionary, you have appointed scripture readings for each day, so you're never at a loss of what to read. Then after you're done with the, the uh, portion of the readings, you can also jump in and do a small portion of the catechism. And keep in mind, in your hymnal, the catechism is in here as well to be used. And then the Apostles' Creed, the Lord's Prayer, and then the prayers for others and yourself. Now, get this too. This is what's so amazing. Is there's a whole section of prayers in this hymnal as well. Prayers for yourself, prayers for who, those who are sick, prayers for the church, prayers for our nation, and so forth. So you have all the resources you need right there before you in order to take you through these daily prayers in the morning, noon, early evening or late evening. Uh, let us go right back to that as well. And then at the very end, you have a concluding prayer and then a concluding prayer, Luther's evening prayer that you can say together as a family. And then the, the leader says, let us bless the Lord. And everyone says, thanks be to God. And then everyone goes joyfully to their work and their school and their different endeavors of the day. And so the point of this that we want to consider 
is that this hymnal has a great resource in it, these daily offices that you can do with the family. And now here's what's really neat, is if you are pressed on time, uh, you can actually condense it, uh, namely doing the introduction, a small reading, and then right into the Apostles' Creed, Lord's Prayer, and a concluding prayer, and be done in about five or six minutes uh, versus actually longer. But if you do have time, you can go through a much more in-depth study, and that is all contained right here in that Lutheran service book. And not only are you using it during the middle of the week for your family, but you're making yourself familiarized with it so that when comes Sunday, it's a continuation of that piety, uh, that good piety of receiving God's gifts on Sunday as well. So there you have it, Lutheran Service Book, a great resource for family devotions. And get this, members of St. Paul's, we actually have Lutheran Service Books on sale here in our resource center for $10. We have a bunch of used ones that you can pick up for 10 bucks to be used at your home. So I hope that helps, and we'll catch you next time.